Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett sat down with Andy Serwer to talk about the rising cost of health care and his joint venture to address the problem. I didn't worry about a name. I, I, we could have gone on as a no-name operation for 10 years as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> no, that, that is, we got a wonderful partnership in the sense that, that it's got lar it's large and has reasonable market muscle with a, more than a million employees among the three of us. We've got three CEOs that can make things get done in organizations that so, are so big that normally they, they wouldn't get very bureaucratic. I, you know, I mean, you know, if you tried to do this with many big companies, you'd have, you'd have legal weighing in and, you know, and, 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 and public relations weighing in. We don't have any of that stuff. They may have them in certain areas, but, but, I don't have to, but Jamie isn't gonna worry about you know, doing that sort of thing, and, and, and neither is Jeff. So, so we've got a unity of commitment uh, and an ability to execute on the commitment. The only problem is you know, you've got a $3.4 trillion industry, which is as much as the federal government raises every year, that, that basically is, feels pretty good about the system. They, as we went around talking to people to find a leader for the group, for example, you know, everybody says, you know, the system, you know, it, it, it turns out very good medicine, but you can't go from 5% of GDP to 18, you know, without, without really um, making it less competitive, among other things in the world. So everybody thought the system needed some adjustment, just not their part of the system. And, and that's very human. I'd do the same thing, I'm sure, if I was in the same place. So it's, there's an enormous resistance to change, while a similar acknowledgement that change is, will be needed. And of course, if the private sector doesn't supply that over a period of time, you know, people will say then, you know, we give up, we gotta turn this over to government, which will probably be even worse. <laughs> How often do you talk to Jamie and Jeff about it? I know Todd Combs, I think, is yeah, your point Todd, for Todd really does all the work at our point. If this works, give Todd 100% of the credit <laughs> from, the, from the Berkshire standpoint. Does Haven have to buy companies to gain expertise? And what do you? No. It, it, no, I, I don't. What is think the plan? I mean, how do you? The, the plan is is to support uh, a very, very, very good thinker on this subject who's who wants is a practicing uh, physician and who commands the respect of the medical community uh, to, in effect, figure out some way so that we can deliver even better care uh, and have people feel better about their care too. I mean, they have to perceive that they're receiving better care over time and, and, and stop the march upward uh, of cost relative to the country's output. We've got this incredible economic machine, but, but we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be spending 18% when other countries are doing something pretty comparable in terms of doctors per capita, hospital beds per capita, and all that. The very top stuff in medicine, I think, is very much concentrated in this country, and, and that's great. I want us to be the leader, but I just don't, I think we're paying a price. If we're paying seven extra points of GDP, that's 1.4 trillion a year, you know. It, uh, is the administration focusing, by focusing on drug prices, is that sort of a rabbit hole? Is that missing well, the bigger I picture? Know. I mean, they, they're, they're trying, <laughs> and, 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 and Congress generally, I mean, if you talk to the average congressman, uh, they, they, re, they regard it as a problem, uh, and, and, they may, they, and they see specific instances you know, of drug prices or something like that, but it, 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 it's a big problem to change. I mean, the trouble is it intersects in so many ways, uh, and, that, it, that, and that's why uh, we've got Gwandi heading it, and we've got three because high organizations backing him. We're not trying to do it to make money. I mean, that is, that is not a goal that we end up with some business that, that uh, we make money off of. And will he be talking to health insurers, for instance? Well, he'll be, he'll be talking to everybody. But, but it's, it, it is, uh, uh, his game plan is not something we're gonna try and lay out because it, it, it's in his head to some degree. I mean, obviously, we, we selected him uh, by, by hearing and, and reading and so on, uh, uh, what he's done. But he'll learn as we go. We, we're con we'll, we will conduct certain experiments, or he will, you know, and, and try out a community where 
one of us has a lot of employees maybe and there's various ways to experiment. We will have more of Andy's interview with Warren Buffett coming up. It's all part of Yahoo Finance's exclusive live coverage of Berkshire Hathaway's annual shareholders meeting May 4th in the run up to that.